It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two great middle schools here playing our game. Let's meet the contestants right now. First, from Benjamin Tasker Middle School, here they are, our players from Tasker, Christopher Dill, Kobe Johnson, and Angela Hayward. And from Greenbelt Middle School, we'll say hello to Rashawn Williams, Chinello Igbo, and Subasthika, Subasthika, Thangdurai. And now, here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier ones on the left worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher questions worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25. No penalties for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds, one of these two teams will come back to play Benjamin Falloy with the chance to move on to become the second of this year's four semifinalists in the middle school competition. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. Kobe, would you try that buzzer? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, Angela, and to Chris. And Chanella, would you try the green team's buzzer? It, too, seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, to Subastika, Subastika and Rashawn. Are you ready to play this game? Let's do this thing. We go alphabetically B before G. So, Kobe, you start us out. Give us a category and a number. Um, zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, vowing to shoot all of his own food for the next year, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg recently went out and shot one of these iconic American bovines that's home on the range, green belt. Yes, buffalo. Yeah, he shot himself a buffalo. That's a lot of hamburgers and a lot of meals for one person. Go green. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you go to your dentist, he examines your teeth and says your teeth are fine, but you have gingivitis, what isn't fine in your mouth? Gums, gums, gums. Gum. gums, yes. Gingivitis is a gum inflammation. Absolutely right. All right, you're off to a fast start. Green belt, where next? Um, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, these seeds that are found on flowerless plants like ferns do not cause allergies, but they do if they're produced by things like molds. What are these seeds I'm talking about? Green belt. Oh, yes, spores. Yes, indeed, the spores. The spores that are found on the underside of leaves, the fronds of the fern, no problem. But mold spores, we know that if they're in your house, they can cause a big problem. Go green. Um, zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, you can add to the resume of this insect pollinator. You the bee. Green belt. The bee. the bee. Not the bee, Benjamin Tasker. Let me finish the question for you. You can add to the resume of this insect pollinator in addition to a chirper and a person who kept Pinocchio on the straight and narrow. Hummingbird. 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 No, a cricket, a cricket, an insect. Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio, crickets chirp. Now we've found that crickets also are able to pollinate flowers. Don't beat yourself up over it. It's early in the game. You're brand new to this. You'll catch on. Try again, Green. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. NASA is proposing to send a space boat to float on a lake filled of 
methane gas on the moon Titan that surrounds this sixth planet. Jupiter, Saturn, Saturn, Green Saturn, belt. Saturn, 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 Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet in the solar system. Absolutely right. Come on, Angela and Chris. Poor Kobe's there. He can't think of all everything on his own. Every question has a clue in it. Listen for the clue. Go green. Signs Popery for 10. Popery for 10, 10 points. Teams, if you're a noodler and you're trying to grab these critters with your bare hands in the mud, be careful because they got whiskers and barbs on them. Benjamin Tasker? Catfish. Catfish, that's right. If you go noodling, boy, you got some courage, I guess. <laughs> go green, or red rather. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, Nissan's new electric car is named for this part of a plant that could be called Green Belt. Yes. Leaf. The leaf, the Nissan leaf. I was going to say the solar collectors on the plant. The leaves are in their role in photosynthesis. Nicely done. All right, go green again. Chanello. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Jane Goodall is the world's preeminent primatologist because she has studied these more than anybody else. Chimpanzees. More than anybody yes. else. Chimpanzees. Chimpanzees is absolutely right. That famous camp of hers in Tanzania. And she is not a formally trained scientist either. Amazing woman. Go red. 75.95. Now you're cooking with gas. Go, go. <laughs> Body systems for 15. Body systems, 15 points. Seems back in 1649, British scientist Henry Power discovered these tiniest of blood vessels that he said were kind of like capillaries. Green belts. Capillaries. Capillaries. Capillaries, absolutely right. He called them side streets that corpuscles had to go through one at a time. Good answer. Nice playing over there. Go green. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical, 15 points. Team Stonehenge in England, those iconic rocks are so arranged so that on two days of the year when summer and winter start, the rays of the sun come perfectly through them and land in the center. What are those two days called when green belts? Yeah. Equinoxes? No, ma'am, not equinoxes. The two days when winter and summer start on the astronomical calendar, they're known as the winter and the summer what? Solstice. Solstice. Solstice is absolutely right. The solstices are exactly when Stonehenge comes into its own. 90 to 110. Good game. Go red. Um, signs Popery for 15. Popery for 15 points. Teams, if you are a mineralologist, you study minerals. But if you are a meteorologist... Weather. 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 Mm, you jumped in too soon. Benjamin Tasker, a mineralogist, studies minerals. A meteorologist, though, does not study meteors. But what kind of scientist does? Um, do you know this? Um, what you think? An astronomer. An astronomer studies meteors. All right, the buzzer has rung our score. As we go to our first break, Greenbelt 110, Benjamin Tasker 90. These six great players will be back with you in just a moment. Don't you go away. Diet and exercise are never easy. Then again, neither is dying. Sadly, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke kill nearly a million people a year. Most of these deaths could be prevented. Please, talk to your doctor about your risk for diabetes and heart disease. And if your doctor recommends lifestyle changes or medication, listen. The reason so many die is because not enough are willing to change. You can stop it, starting right now. It's your life. Listen to your doctor. Eat better. Get moving. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard. But I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. Visit us at ichooseadoption.org. Welcome back to Science Bowl. So nice to have you here for this middle school game. 
six great players, two of whom have played our game before, but the first three are new to our show. From Benjamin Tasker Middle School, welcome to Chris and Kobe and Angela. Kobe, tell me about Benjamin Tasker. It's over there in Bowie, right mm -hmm. off Route 50. Who's your principal? Our principal is Mrs. Michelle Johnson. Wonderful. And I know she's out there rooting for you. Mm -hmm. And who's the sponsor of your team? Mrs. Ramona P. Reynolds. Reynolds. And she'll be out in a few moments, and she's worked hard to get this team together. Kobe, were there any alternates on your team? Uh-huh. Um, out here. Wonderful. And we'll yeah. bring out here, out here in just a few moments with Miss Reynolds. Uh, tell me about Benjamin Tasker. What is it about your school that you brag about? Boy, our school is great because, because why? Well, um, we kind of brought, like, a lady from the radio station, Angie Ange, to our school. That was pretty cool. It is pretty During cool. During a pep rally. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that. And I know you've got some great teachers out there. What do you want to do someday, Kobe? Um, I want to, I want people to look up to me and think that, I want to inspire people, like, doing, um, doing engineering or making inventions and stuff like that. I think that's great. Everybody in this life wants to make a mark and you want to be a role model. And boy, that's, to have that kind of wisdom at your age is remarkable. Nice to have you here. You're a good captain. Angela, nice to have you here. You want to be a performer someday, don't yeah. you? What would you do? What would you perform? I don't know. You don't know, <laughs> but I know you're interested in music, yes? Yes. You play what instrument? I play the piano and the clarinet. Wonderful. Very musically talented. What else do you do in your spare time? Um, I draw. You draw. That's good. And read. Well, very good. What kind of books do you like? Um, science fiction. Very good. All right. Well, you're an asset to this team. I know you're going to get some more points in the second half. Chris, nice to have you here. You're sixth grader. Yes. Are you all sixth graders here, Angela and Kobe? Yeah. Yep. All sixth graders. All right. And Chris, why did you want to be on the show? Uh, well, my teacher told me about it, and I, I looked on YouTube, and I thought it looked interesting. It would be good on my resume also. Absolutely. We're doing a nice job here today. Now, you have some very specific plans. You know exactly where you want to go to school, don't you? Yes. Where's that? Uh, I want to go to the MIT, mm -hmm. and um, when I grow up, I want to be a software engineer. Wonderful. Uh, I like your confidence, and I have no doubt you're going to succeed in whatever you set your mind to. Keep up your good work here. Greenbelt, nice to have you here. I was at Greenbelt Middle School on the opening day of school this year. You have a beautiful new school. It is just an amazing building. What's it like there, Chanella? Are you figuring out where everything is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's really big, but once you get used to it, it's okay. Yeah. How is it different from your old school? What, what is one of the first things you went and said, wow, look what we got? Clean. It was very clean. Yeah. Because the old school was, it's historic. It had been around a long time. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, they're going to keep I, at least part of it, I think, uh, as, as uh, some kind of community center, perhaps, have not decided exactly what. Who's the principal over there at Greenbelt? Mr. Warren Tweedy. Mr. Tweedy. I know he's a big fan of Science Bowl. And who is the sponsor of your team? Dr. Gupta. Dr. Gupta. And he's helped us judge in the past. And I know he's worked very hard to get you ready here for today. Any alternates on your team? Yeah, <laughs> Taj Wilkinson. Yeah, and he's been on the show before as well, as you have. And uh, you're proving that you, uh, you really know your stuff. How do you know so much about science? Well, I study a lot. And sometimes when I don't realize it, I'm actually learning stuff. Absolutely. If, if you always keep at it, things just happen to you. It's like you create your own good luck in life. Nice to have you with us. Rashawn, young man who, uh, you have a good singing voice, right? You told me? Yeah. My singing <laughs> voice is so awesome that it sounds very bad to human ears. <laughs> so, yeah. You have a great sense of humor. And uh, tell me about uh, your career goals. What do you want to do? Well, I'm not quite set on it yet. I'm keeping my options open because I still have some time. You do yeah. have time. And, you know, I don't envy you at your age because the options are so vast. It's yeah. hard to kind of narrow yourself down because something else will come along. You'll have an epiphany and say, hey, maybe I want to do that instead. What do you do in your spare time? Um, in my spare time, I'm norm I normally go to karate. Yeah. And How many I'm years have you been doing that? For three years. All right. And great, uh, great exercise, great discipline for you. Sebastica, nice to have you here for the first time. You do a lot in your spare time. I know you're into crafts, arts and crafts, right? Yes. Yeah, what are some of the things you make? Um, well, when we have like things at the end of school where we get to make thank you cards instead of just buying things, I like to make it myself and personalize it, which I like doing. 
And I'm sure whoever gets those appreciates them very much because, you know, anything that's handmade, boy, that's rare in life today. What do you want to do someday? I want to become a gen genetical engineer or a pediatrician. Pediatrician. Wow. Did you, did you have a great pediatrician that you remember? No, but I just kind of like the fact that you get to work with kids. With kids, yeah. I think you'd be very good with kids, I can tell. And you're playing a nice game here. Let's get back to it. Greenbelt 110, Tasker 90. Last correct answer came from the red team. Lots of points to give away, including the big point, big value questions. Go, Kobe. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, the first rocket that America launched after Russia put Sputnik up in the air in 1957 was a rocket ship that carried for good luck one of these four leaf green things. Green belt. Clovers? A clover or a shamrock. Absolutely right. Good. Green. Dateline signs for a 10. Dateline for 10 points. Your question is as follows. The chemical with the formula AUCL2 is for a compound that is toxic and has no value. But scientists have found a bacterium that can change that into a very valuable chemical element that... Gold. Hmm, green belt. Gold. Yes. Gold. Gold? Gold, absolutely right. AU is the chemical symbol for gold. You change gold chloride into pure gold. Only very tiny bits of it right now. You probably get more just panning for it over there in the paint branch. Go again, Green. Zupre for 15. Zupre for 15 points. Teams, look at the monitor in the studio, please. And no, this is not a fake stuffed animal. This is real. This is a salamander-like animal called an axolotl. It lives underwater, and it can breathe there because those feathery things are what? <laughs> Green belt? Gills. Those are gills, yes. Those are external gills like fish have on the inside. All right. You put two and two together very nicely there. Okay. Green belt again. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, the question is as follows. During its lifetime, a leaf gives out oxygen. But when it falls off the tree and starts to decompose, it gives off this gas. Benjamin Tasker. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, absolutely right. And Angela and Chris, I liked how you collaborated there. That's how you get some points. Good. Go, Red. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the spaces in your head that can get very congested if you're suffering from allergies or colds are known as these. What are they, Benjamin Tasker? Yes, sir. Um. You rang in. What was your idea? Spaces? Spaces? S spaces. Not spaces, no. The empty spaces in your head that can get very congested if you're suffering from allergies or colds are known as these. Your nostrils? Your sinuses. Sinuses. Every other commercial on television is about some medication for congested sinuses. All right. Big holes in your head. Okay, go red. <laughs> um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams. This most destructive form of precipitation is also the first word in the Redskins. Green belt. Yes, ma'am. Hail. Hail it is. I was going to say the first word in the Redskins fight song. Hail to the Redskins and hail with those. Sometimes grapefruit size can be deadly, in fact. Go again. Uh, was green the correct one that time? Yes. Go again. Green belt. Body? No. Zuparade for 20. Zuparade for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. All predators are murderers. But sometimes they're very disturbing to our human sensibilities if they engage in infanticide, which is when these predators do what? Green belt. Kill. 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 Kill themselves. Kill each other. Kill each other. Be more specific. The, the same spe species or the same kind. More, please. The children. The children. The children. Absolutely right. Yes. Sometimes if if you keep fish, you know that you've got to rescue the baby fish because the parents will eat them. That's a form of infanticide. All right. Good answer. Go green. Let's get physical for twenty. Let's get physical for 20 points. Before I ask that question, a score update. Tasker 110, Greenbelt 170, still very competitive. This is let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you take one of these tests, you've got a 50-50 chance of getting it right because the only possible answers are acid or base. True or false? Greenbelt. No, it's not true or false. It's like the ball. It's true or false. Oh, no, I forgot what it was. pH scale. pH scale. pH scale. 
pH scale or pH test, absolutely right, just in the nick of time, or litmus test, the litmus papers that you use. Rashawn, is he sweating? I can see him beating up rubber from over here. Go green. Science book brief for 20. Pope Brief for 20 points. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Listen carefully to this question. These are ichthyosaurs, long extinct aquatic dinosaurs. Turns out that they weren't the best of swimmers because recent fossils show that they developed the bends, meaning they developed bubbles of this gas in their blood because they surfaced too fast. Benjamin Tasker. Air. Air. More specifically. Oxygen. No, sir. Green belt, bubbles of what gas form in the bloodstream if you get the bends if you surface too quickly? Carbon dioxide. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is called nitrogen narcosis. Tough question. Good tries. Go green again. Chanello. 25. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. A scientist who took a cell from a frog's intestine and made it into a fertilized egg, which then grew into a tadpole, was one of the winners of this year's Nobel Prize in what science field? Green belt. Biology? Yes, biology or medicine. Absolutely correct. The other two fields are physics and chemistry. Go green. Green things for 25. Green things for 25. The big one in that category, teams, is as follows. It's a multiple choice question. Because so many trees have been coming down and pulling down power lines with them, Pepco has hired dozens of tree experts known as alchemists, apiarists, or arborists. Green belt. Arborists. Arborists, absolutely right. As in Arbor Day that we celebrate in June. It's tree day. All right, go, green. Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25, big one in that category. Teams, some of the dairy cows in Denmark have been giving so much milk lately that their owners have had a tough time finding out if they are in estrus. So they're using a smartphone to pick up signals from their cows to find out if the cows are ready to do what? Benjamin Tasker? Give birth. Give birth. Um, judges? Not quite. Not quite. Greenbelt, can you tell us? In estrus. They're using a smartphone program to find out if their cows are ready to... Mate. Mate. Mate, absolutely right. If they are in heat, good comeback. Nice guess, Kobe. Go green. Body systems for 25. Body systems, 25 points. Seems a big one in that category. Teams, we all know about salmonella, an S-initial bacterium that it causes food poisoning. But what other S-initial bacterium can cause serious infection in us human beings and is a homonym for the group of people that work together in an office? Green belt. What do you think? Chanello? Say something. Say something. Service? Not service, no. What S initial bacterium can cause widespread infection in human beings and is a homonym for the group of people that work in an office? Staff. A staff infection and the staff that works in an office. Tough question. Try again, Green. Let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25 points. Teams, scientists think that every 250,000 years, the Earth flips. This field changes and the world goes upside down. This is a field of protect. Magnetic. Green belt. Magnetic. Magnetic. Magnetic field, absolutely right. So North will become South and South will become North. Nicely done. Five questions left. Yes, ma'am. Science Pope Brief for 25. Pope Brief for 25 points, teams. If you're into sports and you're sweating a lot and all the sodium and the potassium's coming out your pores, you take a sports drink to replace these E initial chemicals in your bloodstream green belt. Enzymes. Ooh, good try. Not enzymes. What are these salts, these sodium potassium ions you're trying to book back? What is that E initial term, Kobe? Electrolytes. Electrolytes is good. That's what I want to hear. Good. Go red. Um, dateline science for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Teams. Charles Darwin's famous book about evolution was called On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural What? Green belt. Selection. Selection is right. Yes, ma'am. Three five pointers. Which one? Body systems. Body systems for five points. Teams, with human beings, it's kind of emotional. But when crocodiles shed these, it's just about skin. Green belt. Tears. Tears, yeah, it's just to get rid of extra salt. Crocodile tears, insincere. Where, ma'am? 
Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points. Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones, they weren't specific as to whether they were cirrus or cumulus or stratus when they said, get off of my what? Green belt? Cloud. Cloud is right. Last question of the game. Dateline for five points. Teams, he's back. Because there's warm water off the East Coast. Green belt. Jaws the shark. Not Jaws the shark. Good try. Benjamin Tasker, he's back because there's warm water upwelling off the east coast of South America. That means we might be getting a very heavy dose of snow this winter. What is that phenomenon with the Spanish sounding name called? El Nino. El Nino was the right answer. We'll be back with a wrap up to this science ball game in a moment. Don't go away. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities. Service learning makes school exciting by connecting the classroom with community service projects. Before service learning, I was just an ordinary student causing mischief during class. After service learning started, I got so involved into it, I started paying attention more, picked up my grades. Hey, very good. Service learning absolutely drives academic success. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. The great thing about service learning is it gives you this opportunity to go out into the world and do things hands-on. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Service learning can make a difference in your school. Visit Learn and Serve America at learnandserve.gov to find out how. I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Welcome back. What a terrific game here we had today. Six outstanding young players I'm proud of, and I, you, I know you are very proud of all of them. Our final tally today is Benjamin Tasker, 135, Greenbelt, 320. What a game you guys played. Rashawn and Chinello and Sebastica, congratulations. And uh, standing back there grinning as wide as he can is Taj Wilkinson, who also played last year. Nice to have you back, Taj. And uh, Dr. Gupta, nice to have you back again. Uh, a brand new American citizen a few years ago. And over at Tasker, we have a brand new married woman here, Mrs. Reynolds. Congratulations to you. Let's see some smiles down here. You guys played a great game. Kobe, Angela, and Chris. And Al's here, nice to have you here. I know you were yelling those answers from down there, weren't you? Nice to have you here today. We we'll hope to see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.